because uh, I don't want to miss what he's saying. I could try to run back to the office and get a pen, but he ain't saying like he was saying in the hall, so I'm going back to the hall. If I'm in the car, I'm going to stay in the car until God finishes speaking. Watch this. And so the other day, as I was driving, he, he brought that very scripture to me. John chapter 15. And I mean, it's, when God brings a scripture to you, I mean, man, it's, I mean, it's burning, okay? I mean, you just, I mean it's not, a, it's not a, a scripture that just comes and passes. It comes and it stays a while until God imparts that thing unto you. And um, that one particular scripture that says, uh, I am the vine, yes. and ye are the branches. Yes. Oh, my God, yes. my God. Yes. Man, and, and just what he dropped into my spirit was this. He said, I don't ever want you to think that your ministry is so small that it, it is insignificant. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Because he said, you're not like some fruit that's just hanging off out here. Yes. Come on here. Yes. He said that you are like a branch. He said, now, I want you to understand the kind of branch that you are. Yes. Come on here. Yes. He said, notice a bank. A bank has many branches. <laughs> Boy, we're going to have some church up in here. He said, a bank has many branches. And just because the smaller branch is not the bigger branch, yes. I mean, people should not feel uh, any less important about coming to your branch yeah. because all of the transactions that are done at your bank exactly. is recognizable <laughs> at the main branch. <laughs> Glory to God, man. So, man, when you say that, man, I'm, I'm about to explode over here when you say that. <laughs> Go ahead, man. It's a tremendous thing. Mm. We've been on this, like I said, again, we've been on this for about I hear you, Doc. And, uh, oh, I, man. I, I told myself, I said, you got to be give me that thing. Mm -hmm. Because there was some other thing that pulled out of us this past Sunday that was tremendous. Mm -hmm. God, I'm telling you, um, the, 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 the thing that God is doing in this, mm -hmm. with this, mm -hmm. and uh, it brought us to, uh, we've been, been going several places. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's, it's been, that, that, that the thing of it is that when we're connected to God, mm -hmm. uh, it's a covenant. Mm -hmm. He made us a promise mm -hmm. that we are uh, uh, due to all the inheritance being connected to that body. Yeah. And uh, everything that we need is in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people, instead of being out of the size of one of the Father, them, they're running out of the size of one of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they get connected to Jesus, the size of one of them shall follow them. Come on here. They yes, believe. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Matthew 6 and 33 says that we should seek God first. Mm -hmm. And after we seek Him, then seek righteousness with Him. And all the things are added. Mm -hmm. And uh, those of us who are really out the door, yeah. Yeah. He's really saying, God, this is all about you and not about us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we're out there to win lives. Yeah. Because there are people who are dying without Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the body of Christ, unless we get busy yeah. and yeah. begin to do the work of the Lord, mm -hmm. oh my God, what is this world going to come to? I mean, I mean, I'm telling you. We are, we are. The hope. We are the agents of. We are the agents of hope. It's not coming from the government. Exactly. It's not coming from the White House. It's coming from exactly. God's house. It's time for us to stop chucking and jiving. Oh okay, stop chucking and jiving, tipping and dipping. Uh, maybe I'll serve God if He look here, honey. He's God and you're not. Exactly. You know. Uh, I mean, I, I, I've seen people, and I know this happens in, in various ministries. People, people are saying, "Well, I'll serve God if God." Like, I mean, like it is your breath. Right. Wait a minute, honey. Exactly. All God has to do is <laughs> is call His breath home, and you fall flat on the floor. Exactly. And so, uh, I mean, God is. I mean, when, when we go out, and we're doing the same thing. Right. When we go out, we're going out into these communities, and we're reaching these people. God has given me such. Look here. Uh, he has given me such a passion and such a burden in that if we can get people to anybody's church, okay? I'm not looking if they don't come to the springs. I'm not worried about that. Glory to God. If, I mean, if I can get you, if I'm successful in helping Paul to get somebody back in somebody's church, for the kingdom of God, why? So that they can grow. Honey, look here. Things are wrapping up and things are winding up and you yeah. need to get to where there is some safety. Exactly. 
Glory to God. You don't have the time that you used to have to be out there playing around and fluking around and so forth. Glory to God. But I'm telling you, man, we're, we're out there and we're doing the work like you're talking about. Yes. And we're beginning to see the fruit. Exactly. We're beginning to see the fruit. The people are out there. Oh, look here. I, I, I'm not trying to make the church look cute. I'm not trying to make the church look like, you know, like, like we're the most going on thing. Exactly. Going on, look here. But what we are doing is we're approaching people and saying, if you got a real problem, you need to be at a real church. Yes. You need to be, if you got a real problem, you need a real God. I mean, and so, I mean, you look at the things. I mean, their, their divorces are at a high rate, loss of job, loss of income. I mean, marriages are, it's just, I mean, things are seemingly, they are at an epidemic proportion. And I think that's what that is, though, cause people not to connect to that body. Yeah. Because yeah. you get connected to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Just come in if you need to, okay? Body. Mm -hmm. That's a conjunction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe that if you really get connected, yeah. He yeah. said he removes burdens and destroys all yours. Yeah. So you, yeah. you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I, I believe the thing is that if we got to get people connected to Jesus yeah. because it depends upon your connection. You know, when you get the right mm -hmm. connection, you get some place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Oh, place, yeah. Right connection. Oh, yeah. My believe, God. I believe what God is, is doing uh, in this particular moment mm -hmm. is in the night. to know each other better. Exactly. I mean, and so, uh, and, and even in ministry, and it's good that we talk about this, because even in ministry, there are marriages that fall apart yes. because of God only knows for whatever reason. Right. And uh, I, I, I believe that, first of all, before we can reach the world, we've got to reach that one that we lay with. Exactly. Okay? The house has to be in there you go. I mean, before we can go out and start a church and do anything at all, exactly. your first ministry is to your wife exactly. and to your children. Exactly. And then, after them, you can you can go forth and, and, and reach your community, your city, and the world. But that's what the Bible says, that if a man cannot um, be able to control his house, yeah. then how he control God's people? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I believe that you should be in a position where you, uh, you're loving on your wife. 